How's it going, YouTube? Got the CJRB Hector, I guess you call it, um, today. If this knife looks familiar, it's because it does. It looks like a few other knives, but it's pretty cool. CJRB's first crossbar lock. Stick around. Let's go ahead and check out the box. It's the model number J1935 YE for yellow. You got a zipper pouch and the microfiber cloth, which they recently started doing. Catch up with everybody else. And here's the knife. Don't usually buy yellow, but I figured this would dye purple. At least I'm hoping it will. Um, 50 bucks for this. Good price. Um, I definitely like CJRB's knives quite a bit. Might, might not be the best company, but I still like their knives. Let's go over the specs. You got a 3.15 inch AR RPM 9 blade, satin finish, drop point, flat grind. Pretty average looking blade shape. Got a 2.8 millimeter blade stock or 0.11 inches, so about average, a little bit under that. Let's see how it cuts. Usually, CGRB has pretty good edges. I'd say that's sharp. Can you guess what this looks like? We'll get more into that in a little bit, but if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. <laughs> Got an overall length of 7.35 inches. Let's do some size comparisons. CGRB Echo. And the CGRB Pyrot button lock. I don't have the drop point pyrite right anymore. Kind of wish I did for this video. You see how much the difference is, but the pyrite's about the same length. That goes a little bit bigger. And we got the Migron Moro. A little bit bigger. And here's the knife they're shooting after. My opinion, Boss Steed Raccoon. The original renders of this knife had thumb studs and a hole, um, two different versions. I guess they went with the hole, so it don't look as much like the Raccoon now. But I still feel like that's where they were, were heading with it. But a little bit bigger than the Raccoon, or a little bit smaller than the Raccoon. Sorry. You got a 4.2 inch handle, 0.43 inches wide, and the close width in the pocket is 1.2 inches. You got TA on your screws, except for the pocket clip, and a weight of 2.65 ounces. Do have some weight relief on the inside. Love to see that. Very lightweight enough. You do have a deep carry reversible clip. The screws are inset, the clip is not. And as you see, you got the yellow G10. Not a whole lot of texture, but a little bit. It's not smooth by any means. They also had like a lime green looking one, a pink one, and a black one. No micarta or steel on this version, at least not yet. I would have got micarta if they had it for sure. And for their first crossbar lock, I'm gonna give them an A plus. Just check out the action and the detent.
good detent for a crossbar lock. And the blade won't come out unless I'm really, really trying. So that's good. Thumbs up for that. You do have inset liner lock. Or not liner lock. You have inset liners. It's a crossbar lock, obviously. You have a couple deployment options. Of course, your crossbar. And you got your hole deployment. Um, there could be more access to it, but it works. You got a lanyard hole. No backspacer. And you have a great sharpening tool. Sharpen this for days. And as you see, let's look into the dislocks. Um, you notice the hardware is black, the liners are black. It looks like they were going to put a black blade on this, but decided they didn't want to do any of the blades black and they could get them out of the factory quicker, so they just all did a satin blade. I mean, they could have went with the black hardware, but that is my opinion. They would just change their mind halfway through. Um, wish there was more options than G10. I mean, G10 is a good work knife, for, good for work knives, so it's all right. Better than aluminum, that's for sure. And, and another one is it kind of looks like a pyrite, not too far from it. Um, blade shape is a little bit different. The handle's a little bit different, but. You still get that pirate vibe a little bit. Might just see some more interesting blade shapes from them. And my last one, I'd like to see a little bit more hole access. Like if this wasn't here, I can still get to it, no problem. But it's a big difference on it and the pirate and the echo. But yeah, cool knife. Um, maybe I'll disassemble it in a different video. Yeah, if someone wants to see that, let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have this link down below if you want to check one out. And give me a like or comment. See you on the next one.